among all the complicated industries available if there is one industry which is very complicated it for sure is the metal fabrication industry hi my name is raman and i'm from a company called emerging alliance a certified sap channel partner and in my experience of working with more than 50 plus light fab heavy fab turnkey fabrication companies and project based fabrication companies we have come across lot of issues which are faced by the fabrication industry and these issues have been successfully solved in SAP Business One ERP solution for metal fabrication industry we have not only successfully implemented an ERP solution like SAP Business One for metal fabrication industry but also made sure that the SAP Business One solution contributes to the growth of the metal fabrication company or helps the metal fabrication company to scale up in its business in this video i'm going to explain in detail how SAP Business One can be implemented for the metal fabrication industry's production cycle now there is a disclaimer that i want to tell you before we move forward and the disclaimer is i'm not going to show you the screens and explain you how each and every step happens in SAP Business One because such an explainer video will take somewhere around 4 to 5 hours to get completed our idea in this video is to ensure that we cover the solution in its breadth and not in its depth and if you require a detailed explanation we are more than happy to have a one on one meeting with you the production cycle for the metal fabrication industries in SAP business one cannot be done with the standard SAP B1 function our company has an experience of about 13 plus years working with metal fabrication industry and we have come up with four critical add-ons which works with the SAP B1 standard functionalities and help to achieve the metal fabrication industry all its production requirement now what are the four add-ons number 1 is an item master add-on and i will tell you in details about this add-on in the coming video second one is an incoming quality inspection add-on the third one is a single input multiple output add-on the fourth one is a multi bomb add-on with these four add-ons any kind of fabrication company can run their production cycle in SAP Business One in a very seamless manner. Let's look at the first add-on, which is the Item Master add-on. Now, the Item Master for a fabrication industry is a bit complicated. It is not like the other industries. An item, basically in a metal fabrication industry, has something called as an engineering change control or engineering change management, generally called as ECN. or ECR engineering change record or engineering change note what is this is each item basically undergoes multiple revisions there are engineering changes and when the engineering changes happens there is a revision which is added to the drawing or to the item and the reasons for the revisions and the revision controls have to be managed now this can be done in the item master add on in SAP business one not only that all the revision and their respective drawings can also be uploaded and stored in this item master add on so you will be able to see all the revisions of a particular item and its drawing and the explanation of the revisions and the date of the revisions and the person who made the revision all available in one place so the engineering change management can be handled through this item master add on not only that the fabrication industry uses lot of raw material which is basically procured in a different unit of measure whereas when it comes inside it is stored in a different unit of measure for example uh, a steel plate or a steel sheet is basically bought in numbers whereas it's inverted into sap in kgs so you can use sap standard multiple unit of measure but that will still not solve the problem because in metal fabrication industry you buy the same item in different dimensions and every time you buy in steel plate or a steel sheet of different dimension the weight basically changes the item master basically has provisions of specific gravity the length and width so when you go to the transaction screen you you basically feed in the length and width of the steel plate and the quantity of the steel plate procured is given automatically the weight is calculated the input for these is available in the item master and similar things are available for steel pipes steel rods angles channels 
and all the raw material which basically goes into a metal fabrication industry. The second add-on is the incoming inspection add-on for the metal fabrication industry. Now this add-on basically has features and functionalities which will help you to inspect the raw materials against various parameters that have been created uh, for the raw materials. Now the parameters can be dimensional aspects which will have a range of you can say what is the lower control limit and what is the upper control limit or the dimension should be between 5 mm to 7 mm which is acceptable and beyond that is rejectable. So that can be set. The parameters can be visual parameters or something like an yes or no parameters, accepted or rejected parameters, you can also enter that. Parameters can be test certificates like a physical property test certificate or a chemical property test certificate based on which the material can be accepted or rejected. You can even create those as parameters. So the quality add-on basically has all these parameters created for each and every raw material. Now, and you can also designate them in the item master. So whenever an item basically comes in, if it is configured for incoming inspection, then automatically the system will move the material from a general warehouse to a quality warehouse. Otherwise, the metal is freely moved to the production warehouse from where the metal can be issued to the production. Now let us see in detail what happens in an incoming inspection add-on. So the add-on screen basically has a list of GRPOs which has been received from multiple vendors. So you can choose the GRPO and further the system will ask for a line item which has to be inspected in the GRPO. You choose the line item, all the quality parameters which are mapped for that particular item gets displayed and you will have to give in the inspection values which is uh, the range or with, which is an acceptable or not acceptable remarks uh, in the parameters. And if you have any kind of uh, photos uh, of the inspection or any standard Excel information sheets, uh, inspection sheets that can be uploaded. Not only that, if you're using any measurement devices or if you're using any consumable to do an inspection, all those can also be recorded. The person who has done the inspection can also be recorded. And if the material is accepted, automatically the material moves from the quality warehouse to the production warehouse. And if it is rejected, then an NCMR, non-confirmation material record or report is created in the system. And an inventory transfer document is created through which the rejected material or the badge or the serial number, whichever is rejected, is moved to a quarantine warehouse and an NCMR record is created, which is also assigned to a particular quality inspector. Now, the quality inspector to whom the NCMR is allocated he can basically review the material, see if the rejected material can be and segregate as acceptable material and rejected material. And whichever is an accepted material when posted gets transferred from the quarantine warehouse to, to the production warehouse and the rejected material is moved from the quarantine warehouse to the rejected warehouse. And this information is alerted to the finance department or accounting department who basically create an accounts payable invoice for all the items which have come in and a credit note for the items which have rejected and the respective GST documentation for the rejected items are also created. Now this is the entire cycle which happens in the incoming inspection add-on which is a very critical requirement for the metal fabrication industry. The third add-on is a single input multiple output production add-on for the metal fabrication industry. Now this add-on is specifically made for a very core process available in metal fabrication industry which is called as the first stops or the first operation process where a single steel plate or a steel sheet or a pipe or a rod or a channel or angle is converted into smaller cut and bend piece parts which are further fed into assemblies and sub-assemblies and welded together. Since the raw material cost is of very critical nature for the fabrication industry, the fabrication industry basically uses a nesting application or a software to optimize the wastage when smaller piece parts are cut from the main sheet metal or plate. Now this process is replicated in the single input multiple output add-on. So the add-on makes sure SAP Business One standard doesn't have an option where you give a single raw material and you get multiple 
FGs or semi-finished goods. So that feature is not available. This add-on basically helps you to achieve the nesting capability or the first operation requirements of the metal fabrication industry. The add-on ensures that you receive a single input raw material which might be a steel plate or a steel sheet along with the batch number or the heat number details and the nesting information like what are the piece parts which are going to be cut out of this particular steel sheet or plate along with the quantity can be noted in the output and the waste stages and the yield details can also be loaded along with the laser cutting machine hour rates or the flame cutting machine hour rates and once it's posted the output of this particular add-on is basically cut and bend parts with proper costing along with the scrap cost and the yield and any other consumable cost or the machine over rates are basically captured in the cut and bend parts. Now this is a very critical add-on which helps you to achieve the first operations requirement of fabrication industry in SAP Business One. The fourth add-on is a multi-bomb production add-on. The metal fabrication industry basically has a bill of metal structure which is pretty complicated or which is very branched out in nature. In large engineering components, the FG item basically has a lot of sub-assemblies and each sub-assembly has its own sub-sub-assemblies and that further has raw material which is the last branch of the bill of material. In these cases, what happens is, if you try to do this kind of production, multi-branch or multiple bomb uh, uh, items in SAP Business One, then you land up creating a lot of production order. So to avoid that, we have this multiple bomb production order add-on, which helps you to consolidate all the bombs in one place and do it in a single job order. So what this multi-bomb add-on module helps you to do is, it consolidates all the production orders created for different bombs in one place and sequence them in an order of operation and gets it done in one screen. And you can restrict uh, that one stage can start after the predecessor stage is closed or you can even keep it open and between each stages you can also have a quality check done which is a stage wise inspection if there is requirement of that sort then that can also be implemented. So this particular add-on helps you to achieve in one screen addressing multiple production orders, the issue and receipt of production done in the same screen, the stage wise inspection done in the same screen and finally the completion of the FG also done out of the same screen. Now this is a very critical add-on that is required for the metal fabrication industry which has a multiple bomb FG structure. Now that we have discussed this four critical add-ons of SAP Business One required by the metal fabrication industry, if you are a metal fabrication company which basically requires an ERP to manage your systems and process to scale or to grow your business, please contact us on the link provided below or please do visit our website and you can also directly write to us on the email provided below. We'll be more than happy to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with you with your specific requirements and demonstrate the capabilities of these add-ons and SAP Business One to manage your fabrication business in an application like SAP Business One. Thanks once again and we'll meet you in our next video.